Libra. I don't know why, I just feel that this is going to be the best reading I've ever done for you. So we're going to see what happens. <laughs> this is your October 2020 reading. Um, I don't know, I was just sitting here and I was like, you know, I just knew that this is going to be the best reading I've ever done for you. So let's get right into it and let's see what it's about. General reading, Sun, Moon, Rising and Ascending for Libra, you know. Sun, obviously your zodiac sign. Moon, your emotions. Rising, ascending. New stuff, how you perceive. Also, if there's communication errors, which I feel there might not be too many for you at the moment. Look at your Mercury. Venus is love. But also we're going towards your season. October's your time. October's your time, Libra. Happy birthday to you all. I don't know. We're going to look at your recent past. What is the lesson there from the recent past? Where you're currently at? And what's coming towards you? Hmm. Wheel of Fortune. Overall energy. For you. Well, I suppose that takes care of everything, doesn't it? Wheel of Fortune, things really shifting in your favor. W-O-W. -W. All right. Recent past also starts off with a card very synonymous to you. So you started to get your stuff together, the chariot followed by the King of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. This is a recent past. You were done with playing it small. No more, no more, no more. Um, Current energy, the Hermit, the Hierophant, and the Emperor. You want to see what they're going to do. So what are they going to do? Let me sit here, let me look at them. Hmm. What are you going to do? Let me see how you're going to play this. Hmm. You know, let me see how you're going to play this. Coming towards you, Four of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. This reading is all about you. So... You started to become very motivated about, you know, getting that sort of real, true balance in your life. You, I feel that, you know, um, at a point, uh, you know, where um, things may have been very all over the place, you know. It's, 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 it's almost like, your, like your, your toys were scattered all over the place, you know. Um... And you were like, no, man, no, 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 no. Let me take a back. Let me go take my, my, my toys and one by one. Let me put them together, you know. Um, and that obviously took a lot of self-exploration. Because even though I'm making light of the situation, this meant that you really had to um, go see what are the things that are really not working. You know, no matter how hard you tried, what are the things that it's time to let those things go, okay, to, to release them, to set them free. Um, I feel that you may have tried to support, um, you know, and carry many people here yeah, or many situations, circumstances for a while here. Yeah, and you were like, you know, this is not healthy. This is not good for me. This doesn't make sense. This is me dishonoring myself. I can't do this anymore. You know, I won't do this anymore. Um, and that also meant, and um, for some of you, I felt there was a bit of an inner conflict that was taking place over here, because all you wanted to do was to have peace, you know, and sort of a calm. You know, you didn't want the waters too short or shaky. Um, so you didn't really want too much craziness to happen around here for you. Um, but you had to also, um, uh, some of you had to really stop uh, sort of bringing yourself down. You know, um, it's almost like you would have like a remote for for like the demo of the flashlight of your life. So every single time when things start to shine too brightly, you could press this remote, you know, and the light on you can just dim. And you can just, you know, very dramatically sort of fade out. But um, it's almost like um, you also had to develop a very healthy relationship with self-acceptance, you know, with 
would uh, for many people it will be what not being good enough for you you had to really accept um that sort of I'm good enough. I'm, I'm more than good enough. I'm fully capable. You know, there's nobody better for this job than me. And I feel that it, that, that was a bit of an inner struggle there, you know. But when it started, oh boy, did it start. And things really started to move for you there with the King of Pentacles in the recent past. You know, stability within the self, which reflected obviously to the outside. Um... Some of you might have gotten promotions, the job that you wanted, the home that you wanted. Um, could be love and stuff like that, but this is more about you. This reading is very much about you, all right? Um, I feel that for many of you, you have been making the focus of others so much, um, you, you know, in your life. Others have been so much the focus and the vocal point, sort of like, you know, center point in your life, that you really had to just sort of embrace you. And there's a big sort of... Um, uh, shift that started to take place you really started to get things into perspective so you really started to move forward you really started to give yourself the chance um, from all the choices you had to choose you chose yourself you know move forward life really said to you okay at last here you are you know um literally okay at last you know um and things started to turn in your favor here yeah? things really started to shift in your favor here. And obviously the thing to understand is that it happens because of us. Okay, um, So where you currently are with the Hermit, uh, life is saying to you, you know what? You know, Buttercup. <laughs> um, it's okay for you to take a little break now. You've done a lot of work. Um, you've really sort of, you know, I mean, you went deep. To really get all that amazing magicness, you know, magicness, magic <laughs> of yourself. And so now it's time for you to really sort of take a little bit of time and to really sort of, you know, start to flow with those emotions, to chill with those emotions. It's almost like, um, for those of you that might be familiar with Reiki, for example, you know. So when you teach Reiki to somebody, um, you know, uh, you, you do the, the training and the stuff, and then um, there's a period afterwards, like 21 days, where you just sort of take some time out for the energy to settle within you, within your chakras, you know, within your sort of aura, because it's just so much of it. And... Um, this is one of those things that's happening here at the moment, that that inner divine light is already there and it's busy, you know, it's coming towards you, but it's so much that you you sort of need to give yourself a little break here, all right, before you start going forward again. There's a, there's a break that is required in between you, all right. Um, if you just go, 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 you're going to wear yourself out. Um, we're going to clarify that to have a look for you. But in the middle, you you sort of like in the middle is the hero fund. It's laying right in the middle of your reading. And this is very much like, um, it's like a blank slate. You know, you realize that you've always been halfway there. And now it's, you know, it's, it's time to stop running and to just breathe in. And just to relax and just to embrace the moment. And that in itself, incredible there with the Emperor, because now you've got you've got three actual major arcana cards in your present situation. You've got the Hermit, you've got the Hierophant, you've got the Emperor, and you also, um, your overall energy is the Wheel of Fortune. Oh my goodness. B-O-Y, oh B-O-Y. This is a true inner strength that is revealing itself. True inner strength revealing itself. You finally unlocked it. You've had the keys all along. You know, and I feel for many of you were looking for the keys everywhere except in your pocket. <laughs> and you found the keys now to yourself, to your heart. With the four of swords here was coming towards you, growing from strength to strength. Four of Pentacles, the relationship with money, improving, working hard, but knowing what you're working hard for. Queen of Pentacles, the, the relationship with um, with the inner self, with the emotions, healing. Okay, let's clarify this Wheel of Fortune. 
what you got to say for brass. Ah, 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 ah. I've got no idea where that came from. <laughs> I think I should make like a DJ thing with Caracas. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to your rhythm. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of the Fortune. What do we have for you? Wheel of Fortune, we've got the Star, the Four of Cups, and the Tower. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> There's new love coming your way. This is, look at what's at the bottom of your deck, Ace of Pentacles. So this new love coming your way, it's everything you wanted. This is the universe giving you exactly what you wanted. You know, or this, this um, revived rather connection of love. This is, because I feel the things have been dormant there for a while. This is exactly what you wanted. Exactly what you wanted. Precisely so. And you're going like, nah, -uh. I'm okay. I'm good. I'm actually very good on my own. I'm really, really good on my own. All right. I'm very good at where I am. And life with the towers coming there. Kaboom! And. Yeah, this is an undeniable connection of love. Also, there's a fantastic financial opportunity that's coming here. Things are really shifting in your favor. Let's look at the recent past there with the chariot. Powerful shifting forward with the chariot. Um, the king of pentacles and the two of pentacles. So you've got the seven of wands. You've got the seven of cups and the knight of wands and look at what is underneath the deck again the lovers so now you have got the ace of pentacles and the lovers speak about the plot thickening speak about i think that is such a nice speak about the plot thickening <laughs> that is going to be your title for your video <laughs> All right. Now, you see, here's the thing, and this is why this break is so important for you. There is still some inner conflict that's taking place over here. Um, there, there, there's still a, you know, a, a must fix it, you know, a must fix it here. You're trying to fix a lot of people's problems. You're trying to fix a lot of people's, you know, concerns. And the, the, the beautiful thing is, though, that those people that was, you know, um, the, the, the sort of things that are not helping them, that you're trying to fix, and this is what you had to come to terms with, they're not interested in having those things fixed. They like being victims of their lives, all right? And you had to accept that. Uh, maybe this is just for somebody specifically, but I got a very friendly, kind, sort of friendly eyes alluring gentleman that came in here. Okay. Very nice. Very strong energy, strong, silent type, very funny. Let's look at what you have for the helmet here. So the current situation, the Hermit, the Hierophant, and the Emperor, you've got the Queen of Wands, you've got the Two of Swords, and you've got the Three of Pentacles. Laying awake, other people's concerns, Nine of Swords. They're not interested in being saved by you. And I realize, I see that you, you realize that, you have to focus on yourself, you have to revive your own energy, and... You're really getting to a point where you're so much better with how you sort of, you know, distribute your energy now. You don't just go and give energy left and right all over the place. Because some people weren't actually appreciating your, 
you know, your best effort. In fact, you know, they were saying that you were meddling, that you're in my business. You know, get out of my business. Can you please get out of my business? This is my business. This is private business. I don't know why you're involved in my business. And you were like, <laughs> like, what do you mean? You know, I'm trying to help. And I feel that you had it very much thrown straight into your face. Who asked you for help? Who asked you? I never ask you to help me. I never ask you to be concerned. And I feel that has really hit you very, very hard. Um, and you really, it's like, this could have been a repeating cycle. It could also be from family, you know, and from friends that you really needed some time to heal from that sort of, um, there's, there's some sort of embarrassment. It could be like a public embarrassment, you know, that you were just, Totally disrespected, yeah. Totally disrespected. Four of Swords, Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Cups is what we're clarifying for you. There is the Four of Pentacles. There's the King of Pentacles. There's the High Priestess. And underneath the deck, there is the Six of Wands. Hmm. So with this King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles is laying you right, you know, by each other, you're really opening your heart to love. And I feel that you're really beginning to learn, you know, how to really just focus on yourself here. And you're going to be accused of being selfish. That you can, you can ready yourself for that. They're going to call you selfish. They're going to say like, oh, you're such a selfish person. I can't believe how selfish you are. You know, I can't believe that um, that you could be the selfish. Let's see what we've got for you. We're going to do a bit of a longer clarify for you. We're going to look at some more into the recent past because it's what is in the past that brings us to where we currently are and also over where you are right now from the universal energy. Three of Inspirations, Temperance and the Hanged Man. And the Ace of Materials. It wasn't working out. It wasn't working out. You were giving too much of your power away. You needed to sort of get some sort of perspective. You were sort of lost in your own world. You were lost in your own head, in your own mind. If somebody had to ask you who you are, you wouldn't know. And you realized that you had to, you had to sort of get your melody back. Okay. I like that title more now, but okay. You had to get your melody back. Message from the universe for where you currently are. Seven of emotions, justice card, and four of emotions. Yeah. You had to accept that some people can just never be safe. Because they don't want to be. And let's see what we've got for you. One more for what's coming towards you. Ace of inspiration. There's beautiful things coming your way. There's beautiful things coming your way, okay? One more card, oh my goodness. All right. For what's heading your way, okay. Muse of Voices, which is Swords, King of Swords. Clarity. Clarity, clarity, clarity. Clarity, 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 clarity. What have we got for you from the angels? Daily guidance from the angels for October 2020. For Libra, and flying, it says child. You care deeply for children and they readily, you care deeply for children and they readily respond to your love. All children, including your own child, require love. It's also your inner child affection and attention. We the angels can open and clear your heart and schedule so that you can give more time and energy to the children who needs you. Hmm. So that's what I got for you, Libra, for October 2020. I hope it's the most beautiful month. I hope you have beautiful birthdays. And um, if the reading resonates, you're more than welcome to the like, comment, subscribe if you're not subscribed. I've got regular readings coming up. We'll see you next time. Namaste. Love and light.